pretty sure we're almost there. <sighs> Something just doesn't feel right about this whole thing. Yeah, I'm just not sure about this. Well, look. We already signed up, and there's no point in turning back now. Plus, it's a pretty simple job considering the fact that I'm trying to save up for a new... Yeah, for a new whip, we know. Didn't mean to flex how much more money I have. <laughs> huh? You and your mom in bank account total of $5,000? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 5000 more than you're rolling with. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Me and you both know, bro. Ugh, can you guys shut up already? And... I think that's the place. <laughs> Yikes. Looks like Todd's house. Mm -hmm. This place really did go downhill. Uh -oh. Yep, I guess so. Who would actually rob this kind of place? And there's nothing valuable. I'd like to congratulate you on the behalf of Tony's Tacos on earning your position here as security personnel. We know it's a big deal, so don't worry. We'll make sure you're equipped with the right tools necessary to complete this job. So with that being said, let's get you acquainted. First of all, in your office, there are two important things to know. Number one, your computer, or otherwise known as your security camera. Tapping into your computer should allow you to access your security cameras, which were placed strategically throughout the facility. I do want to tell you though that these security cameras do not cover every inch. I mean, there are plenty of blind spots. Two important blind spots actually lie right outside your doors. This means that you won't be able to see outside of your doors if they are closed. Now, this brings us to our next important piece of discussion. Your blast doors. These were installed primarily for your security. We do realize that you are working a job which has its risks. So in case anything happens, you're being chased or somebody's trying to break in, you can close these blast doors make sure that your safety is your priority. Now, these blast doors aren't anything to play with. They're not toys. They are highly dangerous if you stand underneath them. They will close on anything, so anything that's standing in its way, say goodbye to it. It's also critical to realize that these two doors, when closed, put an extreme amount of strain on our only two working generators. So if you don't plan to run out of power and keep the lights on, then keep those doors open. Now, one at a time works, but two at a time is too much for our generators to handle. So please, be careful. Now that may lead you into the question of, well, where are these generators? I mean, if they do break down, is there anything you can do about it? Yeah, you can. We trained you on how to repair them, so let me tell you where they're located. Within your office should be a newly installed flat screen TV, which displays a digital map of the entire restaurant. This is going to come in handy whenever you need to locate something. Now there should be alarm lights installed on that TV screen. These alarm lights will only enable whenever there's a malfunction or a shutdown of any sort. So if a generator were to accidentally break down at some point, an alarm light should go off telling you exactly where you need to go to fix it. Luckily for you, the only two generators which power this entire facility are located in the same area, the parts and service region. The third and only alarm light in the arcade actually corresponds to the ventilation system. We have installed our ventilation...
I wonder why they want this place. These animatronics are in decent shape considering how old they are. 